Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare ancient Roman cabbage wraps from the third book of the Recuquinaria, entirely dedicated to vegetables. We start with ingredients. We need cabbage, leeks, olive oil, garum and wine. We cut the leek into big chunks and wrap them with half a cabbage leaf each. Then we prepare the dressing with garum, wine and olive oil. We used about the same amount of each ingredient, but we suggest tasting it and adjusting the amount of ingredients following your taste. This recipe is included in a chapter with other preparations for leeks. In the first, the author specifies to use porri maturi, ripe leeks, which are more or less the same we commonly use today. In Roman recipes, we frequently find leek leaves or young leeks tied in bundles, or even porri capitati which are leeks cultivated in such a way they grow a big head, described as similar to an onion. In this case, we recommend using the white part of regular leeks. In the other recipes, the leeks are simmered in a mixture of water, salt and oil, then dressed with oil, garum and wine, or simply cooked in a pot and seasoned in the same way or simmered and served with fava beans. Garum, wine and olive oil is one of the typical Roman dressings for vegetables. Sometimes the cooks use vinegar instead of wine, but in this case wine gives more flavor and less acidity to the dish, making it more complex. The author specifies to use merum, which in Roman culture is an excellent wine and generally refers to Falernian. We recommend good white wine for an excellent outcome. The best kind of olive oil is extra virgin olive oil prepared in the same way as ancient Olium viridis, the most appreciated in ancient Rome. If you don't have garum, you may substitute it with a Southeast Asian fish sauce ancient muria or collatura di alici, or salt, keeping in mind that a tablespoon of garum is more or less equivalent to a pinch of salt. You find the links to the recipes for garum and muria in the description below. On our Patreon page you find the translation of the first five books of the Recoquinaria, in addition to several articles about ancient and medieval food and the translations of historical sources. We spit roast the wraps on charcoal at low heat. It took us about 40 minutes, but with smaller leaks it can take considerably less. For more information about ancient food, check out our book Ancient Roman Cooking. If you want to know more about the passage between the Antiquity and Middle Ages, we recommend the Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks, which includes an introduction, a glossary and the translation of a beautiful book written by the Byzantine physician Antimus for the King of the Franks, Theoderic, in the 6th century. If you are interested in late medieval recipes, check out Registrum Cuquine, a medieval cookbook. Our books are available on Amazon in English and Italian. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. This dish, very simple, turned out tasty and flavorful. The leeks, cooked in the cabbage wraps, absorbed a bit the intense aroma of cabbage and became sweet and tender, a flavor perfectly balanced with the sapidity of garum and the mild acidity of wine. It is important to pay attention to cooking the wraps very slowly, 
to prevent them from burning outside, remaining raw in the internal part. We recommend serving this side dish with a pork collar, wild boar, lamb stew or veal with alec sauce. You find all the links in the description below. If you are interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.